we know that many, many more people see that there's a real connection between the big global challenges that we're all facing around the world and local delivery. Whether it's changing the way we move about, you know, reducing the energy waste by improving energy efficiency and switching to, to greener ways of heating our homes, uh, or investing in uh, resource use like recycling. All of these need national policies, and we're putting those in place now, but they need local delivery. That's why we want Greens in the room in local councils, bringing uh, constructive pressure to bear, just as we've done at national level. And if people do think global and act local and give their number one preference to their Green candidate, we'll be able to change local government in really constructive and exciting ways, addressing the climate emergency and the cost of living crisis in a coherent way. The Scottish Greens have always shown that constructive politics gets results. We don't go in thinking, you know, opportunistically how to just knock down the ideas that are coming from others. We put forward our own solutions and we work with others where there's genuine common ground. That's what Green councillors will do. But we've also shown in the Scottish Parliament that you don't need to be in a formal uh, agreement in order to get results. For years we were an opposition party doing that constructive opposition, bringing forward good ideas and trying to push the government out of its comfort zone. So if Green councillors have the opportunity to do that, we'll be able to win significant change right around Scotland. And if I can ask you just about what was being discussed in Holyrood yesterday, the issue of the Ferguson Marine Ferries. This was before your party entered government under the cooperation agreement, but what do you make of this issue, the fact that a key document cannot be found? Is, is this a situation uh, you think needs to be resolved quickly? Very clearly, the, the situation with the ferries needs to be resolved. The focus needs to be on delivering the ferries that are being constructed, getting them in service for the communities that need them, uh, and learning the lessons from what's gone wrong. And I think some opposition parties are uh, trying to shift the focus onto you know, can they see a copy of one particular email that didn't say anything other than what we already know? So let's focus on what matters, getting the vessels finished, getting them in service for the communities that need them, uh, and then the inquiry will look at the lessons that need to be learned. So the, the independent uh, analysis shows that there hasn't been any attempt to conceal information. In fact, a huge amount of information has already been published and provided. But look, the focus ought to be not on you know, who's got a copy of one email that just said what we already know it said. The focus needs to be on getting the vessels finished, getting them in service for the communities that desperately need them, uh, and then continuing with the inquiry that will learn the lessons to make sure that the, the kind of mistakes that may have been made don't happen again. The Heat and Buildings Agenda is a multi-decade programme of work. It's not just going to be delivered in this Parliament or even up to 2030. It's going right through to 2045. Uh, we need to transform our entire building stock. So, yeah, there's a huge set of questions that will have to be answered uh, about how that's financed, not just in the immediate short term, but in the longer term as well. The Scottish Greens are asking everyone in Scotland to think global but act locally and give the Scottish Greens your first preference vote next Thursday because the climate matters to all of us but most of the things that we need to do to protect our planet actually happen close to home and that means excellent cycling facilities, safe walking facilities, safe town centres, great public transport, green spaces, recycling in our cities, all the things that make our lives good and create that well-being economy at home. We are hoping to get Greens elected all over the country. We absolutely know that's possible. We know that the climate crisis is more on people's mind than ever before. And we also know that even having a few Greens in a council can make a massive difference. Highlands and Islands Council, for example, with only one Green, managed to declare a climate emergency. And we know that locally here, Alistair has been a great Green councillor. But we can get more councillors than that elected if people give us their first preference vote next Thursday and that means protecting high streets, improved cycling and walking facilities and protected green spaces in our cities.